Hello, I'm Miss Montalbano and I am here to read a story to you today. This book is called Lemonade for Sale. The authors are Stuart Murphy and Trisha Tuza. The members of the Elm Street Kids Club were feeling glum. Our clubhouse is falling down and our piggy bank is empty, Meg said. I know how we can make some money, said Matthew. Let's sell lemonade. Danny said, I bet if we sell about 30 or 40 cups each day for a week, we'll make enough money to fix our clubhouse. Let's keep track of our sales. Sherry said, I can make a bar graph. I'll list a number of cups up the side like this. And I'll show the days of the week along the bottom like this. On Monday, they set up their corner stand. When people walk by, Petey, Meg's pet parrot, squawked, Lemonade for sale! Lemonade for sale! Matthew squeezed the lemons. Meg mixed in some sugar. Danny shook it up with ice and poured it into cups. Sherry kept track of how many cups they sold. Sherry announced, We sold 30 cups today. I'll fill in the bar above Monday up to 30 on the side. Not bad, said Danny. Not bad, not bad, chattered Petey. On Tuesday, Petey squawked again. Lemonade for sale, lemonade for sale. And more people came by. Matthew squeezed more lemons. Meg mixed in more sugar. Danny shook up the ice and poured it into more cups. Sherry kept track of how many cups they sold. Sherry shouted, We sold 40 cups today! I'll fill it up on the bar above Tuesday to the number 40. The bar shows that our sales are going up. Things are looking good, said Meg. Looking good! Looking good! Chattered Petey. On Wednesday, Petey squawked, Lemonade for sale! Lemonade for sale! So many times that most of the neighborhood stopped by. Matthew squeezed even more lemons. Meg mixed in even more sugar. Danny shook it up with ice and poured it into even more cups. Sherry kept track of how many cups they sold. Sherry yelled, We sold 56 cups today! I'll fill in Wednesday's bar up to a little more than half between the 50 and the 60. That's great! shouted Matthew. That's great! That's great! bragged Petey. They opened again on Thursday, but something was wrong. No matter how many times Petey squawked, Lemonade for sale! Hardly anyone stopped by. Matthew squeezed just a few lemons. Meg mixed only a couple of spoonfuls of sugar. Danny's ice melted while he waited. Sherry kept track of the few cups that they sold. Sherry said, we sold only 24 cups today. Thursday's bar is way down low. There goes our clubhouse, said Danny sadly. Petey did not make a sound. I think I know what's going on, said Matthew. Look! He pointed down the street. There's someone juggling on that corner, and everyone's going over to watch. Let's check it out, said Meg. 
Danny asked the juggler, Who are you? I'm Jed the juggler. I just moved here. Sherry had an idea. She whispered something to Jed. On Friday, Sherry arrived with Jed. Jed's going to juggle right next to our stand, Sherry said. That day, Petey squawked, Jed juggled, and more people came by than ever. Matthew squeezed loads of lemons. Meg mixed in tons of sugar. Danny shook it up with lots of ice and almost ran out of cups. Sherry could hardly keep track of how many cups they sold. We sold so many cups today that our sales are over the top. We have enough money to rebuild our clubhouse. Hooray! They all shouted. Jed, Jed, will you join our club? You bet, said Jed. You bet, you bet, squawked Petey. That is the end of our story. Have a great day!